We begin this afternoon with some breaking news right now in West St. Louis. Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox live over a flooded I-6440 eastbound and westbound. This is right on the outskirts of the Dogtown area. That is the Tam Avenue overpass. And this has been happening for the past 45 minutes or so. Fox News journalist, photojournalist Stan Daywood is high above it. And Stan, we've seen so much happen. This water gushing over the interstate, even a young child and his family rescue. Yeah, Jasmine, we have. Mike and I have been uh, reporting on this on our sister station for about the last half hour. So there's a couple of new developments here since Mike and I last talked. Westbound 64 is now completely shut down. When we were closing out the show, Mike, uh, you remember it was one lane was still getting through, but you could tell that that area was just starting to fill up like a pool. Now, when we first got up here, cars were going eastbound and we caught this van as it stalled in the water. Now, the water wasn't as high as it is now, but it did stall the van. And at the time, they rescued a young child, a, a younger woman and a man, St. Louis Fire Department. They walked along there, went out, waited out in there, carried the child and the young woman to safety and helped the man walk to uh, safety also. So they are okay, but that van still remains in the middle of the highway. Now I got one other development. If you all be patient with me, I'm gonna pan to the right here. This is the entry ramp to eastbound 40 at Skinker. What police are allowing people to do now is they're being allowed to turn around, go back up the Skinker entrance to eastbound 40 and be able to get out of the area and hopefully eventually alleviate some of this traffic. But this is going to be a mess for a long time, guys. The, the Both sides of the road are backed up as far as we can see out the helicopters here at the Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox. Yeah, it is completely a mess there, Stan. And what a dramatic scene we saw with that rescue of that family in that vehicle. Glad to see them bring that family to safety. We also have Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins at Tam Avenue overlooking the flooded interstate. Kelly, this is absolutely affecting drivers all around the area. Oh, that's absolutely correct. As you can see right here behind me, the water is gushing out here. As you mentioned, that uh, it's closed in both directions. And I want to bring in Captain uh, Garen Mosby with the St. Louis Fire Department to tell us what he knows so far. About right. This. Essentially what you say, we have a major water main break. Uh, initially, there was a family trapped in the water. It came upon them very suddenly in a minivan. We were able to get them to safety. Traffic right now is a bit uh, challenging. Eastbound and westbound are currently closed off. Got some cars turning around, exiting. Uh, uh, back the way they came and we've got it shut down at Hampton. The water department's on scene and they're working to get the water shut, but right now we're just asking folks to be patient with us while we get this under control. And this is something major here, major water main break here in the city of St. Louis. Can you just talk about that? Right, you know, the water came up, you know, talking to the folks that were stranded in it. Uh, it's a major break. I can't get into particulars about that. I just don't know enough about it, but it did come upon them suddenly. So right now we're just thankful that everyone in that vehicle got to safety and that there's only one vehicle that's stranded in water. It's a busy time of day. Obviously, there are a lot of people on the highway, so just have one stranded vehicle with family. Everybody's okay. We'll take that as a W. We want to thank you so much, Captain Mosby. I know you have to get back to work here. Thank Very you. busy here. Once again, a major water main break here in the city of St. Louis. Uh, that family was trapped but rescued. No major injuries. We will continue to follow this, and we're going to send it right back to you in the studio. All right, Kelly, thank you. As we continue to monitor this from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox, we can tell you that the city of St. Louis told our newsroom that this is a 30-inch water main that has caused the flooding that you see. It's right on the right-hand portion of your screen, and it has been bubbling out of the ground at that same volume for 45 minutes, Jasmine. And there is some road construction taking place just to the south there on Oakland Avenue. We've been trying to connect the dots to see if maybe something with that caused this, but we've gotten no confirmation at this point. Uh, it's truly remarkable to see the flow of water. And, that that and the force that that water has been coming out is the same as it has been for the past 40 minutes or so, as we see it from Bob Marito Automotive Group Skyfox just gushing onto the highway. First, it was just the eastbound lanes, and now the westbound lanes are closed now. As we give you a real-time traffic map of this area that is affected, as you can see, I-64 
is closed in both directions at Tam Avenue. If you are headed eastbound on I-64, uh, crews are saying you should exit at McKnight. Yeah, which is about five miles west of what we're showing you right now. There was some westbound traffic flowing. It was one, two lanes and then down to one lane. Now they have stopped the flow of traffic in the westbound lanes altogether as they work to get a better grasp of this situation. But on a Friday afternoon, rush hour timing, uh, that timing could not be worse. But the good news is the family that was trapped in that van was freed safely and everybody is okay. Of course, no one wants to deal with the hassle of traffic on a Friday afternoon or any afternoon, but uh, great to know that nobody was injured. That's right. And, and Stan was just showing earlier as we were giving that vantage point from Pomerito Monarch Group Sky Fox. You see that family. Uh, what a dramatic scene that was unfolding on live television on News 11, Mike. Uh, that small child rescued by the St. Louis firefighter. You know, we think about fires, but this is something else that they do. Absolutely, and it was unclear because we had a great shot of the van, and you could tell that there was one person in there. Yes. Uh, the man that was in there had a bright fluorescent green shirt, but we didn't know if anyone else was in there. Well, the first person we see taken out is the child, then was the woman, and, and then, then the, man. the man who you'll see here in a moment brought out as well, and thankfully, they were all okay. We're going to continue to monitor the situation that is going to be a mess for quite some time. Let's send it over to meteorologist Chris Higgins. Chris, you're keeping an eye on just the traffic situation. Yeah, guys, the traffic watching this back up as quickly as the water's been pulling out has been pretty amazing. Uh, you've seen it from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox. The backup now on 64 eastbound is a good five miles. It stretches all the way back out towards uh, Limburg Boulevard, uh, looking at the traffic slowdowns here. Uh, you can see a couple areas in green there. That's where they're starting uh, to uh, open up the traffic. So as you look at the traffic on 64 there, again, it is backed up all the way out west to uh, Highway 67, which is Limburg. And then there's also traffic backing up in the westbound lanes to the east of the accident now, past Forest Park, and then, of course, past uh, Kings Highway and into downtown St. Louis as well. So just uh, a huge, huge traffic nightmare. And then not to be forgotten, you know, it's already bad enough on 170 when you come down and make the merge onto 64 there out in Brentwood. That is backed up as well all the way back. Looks like that's back to Forest Park Parkway uh, potentially on the north side and backing up quickly from there. So just a real, real mess uh, as traffic goes out there, uh, all because of this massive water main break there that is still going at this hour, guys. All right, Chris Higgins, thank you. We will, of course, continue to track this water main break. We will be the first to give you any updates as to when the water break is stopped and when traffic begins flowing normally. Of course, you can see the MoDOT camera right now moving in all sorts of different directions as it tries to get a good vantage point of this situation. Uh, a massive traffic backup caused by a water main break on I-6440 on the outskirts of Dogtown, right near the Tam Avenue overpass.